welcome to Deadly Dames and today was a day that I had to decide that I loved my postman. There's just days like that when the postman comes and what he delivers just makes you go, God, I love my postman. So, um, and that was one, and today was one of those days because um, I got uh, three big packages in the post today. To be honest, I didn't actually expect one of them because I'd, I'd taken part in the um, Nucleus Film Indigo Project and for Lady Frankenstein and Death Laid an Egg and there was a couple of perks on there that I decided to do, like top up perks but because the only other Indigo project I'd taken part in before this was uh, the 88 Films one and all the perks that they have is kind of been coming through drips and drabs I didn't expect the Indigo one to be as quick as it was so I mean literally they all arrived pretty much together in one big box so the first perk I took part in was for five DVDs. Now one of the DVDs I'm not going to show you in this video because it's for my sister's Christmas. Um, so that's the reason why there's only four here. So first one was Ghost Story. I've actually never seen this before. I've been looking at it for a wee while from a nucleus thinking this looks pretty good. I want to see it. So if anyone out there has seen it and recommends it, obviously let me know. Here's another one that I've been looking forward to seeing uh, called Death Ship. And none of these I've seen, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of them. Oops, sorry about the light here. Uh, Bloodbath at the House of Death. And Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things and Dead of Night. So uh, the last one, as I said, it is for my sister's Christmas, so that's why it's not, not in this video. So I'll hide it, so I don't want her to see it. Unlike Claire, I've actually managed to keep my sister's Christmas a secret. I think that's because Alison's not here, so she can't blackmail me into giving it to her early. So, yeah, was really, really excited when I seen there was a big package from Nucleus in the door. I also took part, part in the perk that gave me um, this one, uh, Lost Souls, the Doom Journey of uh, Richard Stanley's Island of Dr. Moreau. I, I actually do enjoy his version of the film, but you can tell it's messy and... I've always, always really wanted to see this documentary because you heard all the bad things that happened during the production of this. Because um, obviously there was a lot of conflict between him and Val Kilmer and his name's going right out my head. Very famous actor as well. And it's literally, oh, Marlon Brando, that's it. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this. This is usually quite an expensive movie. Uh, well, documentary, should I say. And it nucleus had dropped it down to like, £10, but there was only, don't quote me here, but I'm pretty sure there was only five available, so I was really, obviously it was really quick at getting in there, because I, I got one of them. And then, the second package, which was really funny, because the box was massive, I mean, absolutely massive, I thought for a second that I'd, I'd bought a box set, like a massive big thick box set, and forgot about it, but um, it was from 88 Films, this one, I'll just pop out so you can see, so it's the... The, the Cynic, the Rat and the Fist. So I, I'm really, really enjoying 88 Films Italian collection. And they recently had, I think it was over the Black Friday. It might have been Black Friday or Halloween. I can't remember which one it was. Where you could um, pretty much get the... That music's too loud. It's Within Temptation doing some really weird covers that's playing in the background. Of some poppy songs. Which is, I love her voice, but some really dodgy covers right there. Um, so yeah, they, they did so they could pick up like four movies with slips. So I've already got one upstairs which is Mad Dog Killer. I'm still waiting on, is it Hands of Steel and Ghost Town is the ones I'm waiting on. So I really, really am enjoying their Italian collection and I really like these slips that they do because obviously it's the original, like the original Italian covers and then underneath it's like the English version of them. But I really do like them. But the box was huge, I mean it was like, well here's... Here's a book that I'm reading, which by the way is amazing. It was like three times the size of this book, and that was what was in it. So, I mean, I think that's a wee bit overkill to protect the sleeve, but i uh, still glad to get it. And then the last that box that I got was from Arrow Video, and that was the Donnie Darko box set. Beautiful box set. The actual cover to this is very, very nice. It looks kind of magnet like magnetic. No, metallic is the word I'm actually looking for, not magnetic. Uh, so this bit here just comes off. We'll try and do this one-handed. Oh, no, can't do it one-handed. There you are. 
So this, obviously this little bit here just slides off to reveal the box set. And then if I just turn it sideways, you can see the three things, the theatrical cut, director's cut. You should really have this round the other way. And then Donnie Darko. So again, I'll see if I can get these out one-handed. So the first one is a big book. Beautiful hard book here. Haven't haven't read it yet, I've not had a chance. You've seen the size of the book I'm reading, I've not had a chance to read anything else. And inside here, which I think this is very clever, they've also got like the there's uh, photographs in here. I'm not gonna pull them out one handy, but it's in the envelope like in the film. It's actually been a long time since I've seen this film. I'm sorry, I almost dropped you there. Uh, and then the last one here, I think this is the theatrical cut. And it's got like another booklet here. Uh, sorry, this is actually the poster. I'm telling you, Porkies. The poster's just a like a bigger pull out of one of these, but it's the the rabbit like on the front here. So yeah, I mean, I think this was a bit of a surprise announcement from our video because people I don't think expected Donnie Darko from them. I'm really glad that they did do Donnie Darko because it's a very unusual film, and I remember when it first came out, it kind of took me by surprise. It really did. Um, wake me up when I was watching it because it had been a long time since I've seen a film that made me sit up and take notice the way that Donnie Darko did. I still don't really have 100% any clue <laughs> as to what the film's about but that doesn't mean the film's not good, it's still really enjoyable and I like films like that because it leaves you to make up your own opinion and I love films that cause a debate so I can say what I think it's about and Claire or Alison or whoever can say well, I don't think it's about that and it causes a debate. Now, they're great movies, movies that just cause people to to sit and talk about them for hours and that's what Donnie Darko was. I'm secretly hoping that... In fact, I need to log on and check and see what the hour announcements are now. I'm secretly hoping there is another wee surprise announcement like this. But um, as always, thank you so much for watching. You can see why I love my postman today. Uh, Nucleus 88 and Arrow all in one day. Amazing. Um, if there's anything you want to ask, any questions, just leave them below. You know I love to chat about films and uh, please like and subscribe. Take care.